By the way, that is the code for the um, players. So definitely get that going. And yeah, I'll probably leave it in the pinned comment. Quite possibly the most reliable website for FC25 coins. Go check out MMOXP for the best price, the best guarantee. Use the code META, that's code META. For the best, cheapest coins, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Oh, Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now, you obviously picked up FC25. Tactics, formations, player roles. There's a whole just of things right there. I have the most spoken about formation right now that a lot of people are using. It is the 4-3-3. It is either the attack or you can obviously go for normal one. So it's completely up to you what works for you. Personally speaking, the attack for me just works because it creates an outlet of, you know, obviously the cam and provides a little bit more attack. Now, it just depends on what your mood field is, but in my opinion, I feel like this is the best one. But yeah, 43 is 43 though. This is just the attack. Hit the like, subscribe, check out MMOXP, check out second link description for the best cheaper shirts. They are doing a promo. Very, very nice shirts, international, new, retro, you guys know the deal. Second link in description, as well as if you want a team built, I do do a minimum $5. Go check third link in description. I will build you a plethora of teams for your liking. Let's get into it though. 43. Now we got build up style being balanced. As I said in the start, it's the best to just go full out balanced. You don't want to go too much, especially in the start of the game. But the thing is, this is already a very attacking formation. So imagine going counter, bro. There's going to be gaps and gaps and gaps. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, I do think if you want, you can go 4-3-3 and then go a counter type, type of vibe. Completely up to you. As I said, you can do what you want. But yeah, at the end of the day, though, uh, we don't all have the same teams and the same players. So it depends. Like if your player has an inside forward plus plus at the right wing, like I got Foden right now. He's not the actual um, card, it's his loan. Only got it from eight games, bro. And then I'm going to go back to whoever. You know, I don't have the mo most amount of coins. So then I'll probably just have him as a normal wide playmaker or just winger. Do you get what I'm trying to say? At the end of the day, man, it's how you utilize his players and the player roles. So yeah, defensive approach, as you can see, is high. Now you can obviously tweak this according to your own uh, adjustable line. I have it on 69 because I felt that if you go over 70, I think it becomes high defensive approach. I could be wrong right there, but let's quickly see. Um, so it goes aggressive actually. So I think the cutoff point for high is actually below 60, if I'm not mistaken. So it should actually be on 59 now that I look at it. But to be honest, for some reason, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's a very, very balanced 69. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying, but nonetheless though, you can obviously tweak it, but you can go maybe the most amount of balance for the defensive approach, 59, and then it doesn't go over too high. Does that make sense? So yeah, you kind of want to be in that realm of, of perfect. So completely up to you how you want to play your team. This is just in terms of depth and how far you want your players back. Personally speaking, I'll put it 65 to 70 is decent. Do you get what I'm saying? So it doesn't really matter that much uh, unless you see it. So yeah, let's jump up into player roles, the main important one. This is how they line up without the ball. Of course, it's the 4-3-3-4. Um, we've got a very, very, I'd say, balanced approach. Now, the thing with this formation, bro, it's very, very nicely, widely situated. Very, very nice in terms of striking. In terms of attack, it's amazing. Sometimes it can be gaps. It just depends on your actual players in position and how good you have. Like, if you have a CDM, if you have a CM um, that can defend. Do you know what I mean? There's so much different things that you need in this type of formation but for me right now what's working for me is low-key having a box box like gunda one someone that can pass having an outlet to kind of dribble in that um obviously offensive spot sometimes tracks back as well and then um obviously has amazing passing that's the main one so yeah let's just go start off with the actual defensive line though goalkeeper plus pope that's why i have him he has the goalkeeper plus which means traditionally on the line and focuses on shot stopping so in terms of reflexes and all of the goody stuff when it comes to goalkeepers he's amazing the only downfall is he obviously doesn't rush out as much so completely up to you obviously if you don't know how this works look at the heat map uh, because that basically shows where they're going to get situate themselves. Now, if you want Pope, for instance, to go unbalanced, you guys know the deal, man. You, you can have... That's what I like, this thing. It's, it's, it's very nice. The FCIQ slash AI movement patterns is very nice that they added. So, yeah, in my opinion, I'd add goalkeeper plus goalkeeper because traditional way, it's decent. It's a very nice balanced feature. Some people said that sweeper keeper plus is very OP as well. 
that could be a little bit too aggressive though you know at corners even just coming out inside the box right there etc etc but yeah for me goalkeeper plus right now especially now at this stage works for your center backs didn't like stop a plus at all ball playing defender is good especially if they have the plus plus but the thing is with this um alessandro bastoni right he's very slow so like he's got 75 pace as his base the thing is for some reason when i used him at the ball playing defender he didn't feel that great bro uh so i just naturally go with him at defender line but yeah stopper plus i didn't like it all but yeah ball playing defender plus plus which means he's great if not world class at that position i don't know if i want to put him there bro it says he's a modern center back who's comfortable playing offside it's playing the ball do you know what i mean it's a little bit a little bit too aggressive bro capable of moving forward or wider to support ball up play maybe you can do that if you want your fullback to kind of come into the play and have like a three back type of vibe so let's say i were to instance um play mycon right as a fullback and defensive then i'd probably say bastoni is perfect that ball playing defender plus plus um because instantly he instantaneously moves like you know towards that realm so yeah Firstly, I don't like playing like that. So I'm just going to go straight up and have him as normal defender. And then obviously the main man, because he's so good. I don't want to put him at the attacking wing black plus plus because I know it's great. Don't get me wrong. Having plus plus is always great. But the thing is, that's way too attacking, bro. It's going to leave my light, right flank um, isolated as well as vulnerable. So I will not do that. I will have him at least at the wing back plus roll. If not, full back and balanced it's not a bad shot personally speaking sometimes he leaves gaps but my con is a very nice card in game bro something about him he is insane he offers that wide support the movement patterns it's nice so for now i'm gonna leave him at that and the reason why i have my con as wing back plus is because nunes is holding so you can have a very very nice situated cdm here someone like a gravenberg you know those type of players that are defensively inclined Mateus Nunes is not the best defensively but he's fast so he accounts for that so let's say when Maicon goes up holding uh, Mateus Nunes will be there if Maicon goes up so that's just how I roll so for me personally speaking this is looking nicely situated we got obviously Gundogan um, as the boxer box because he kind of does everything you want to get someone that can be good offensively and defensively uh, inclined now the thing with the box to box right sometimes when they counter the box box can be vulnerable in defense especially if they don't have good defense like Gundogan so it kind of just depends how you play but I do quick passes quick one twos and I kind of like to outscore my opponent obviously you have to outscore opponent but you know what I mean like I like to play counter football for instance so yeah we're gonna move over to the cam though we'll leave it to that the cam very i think he's probably the most um important position slash player in this team in the whole team so if you can have a playmaker plus plus what this thing does bro provides so much support to your wingers and striker when it comes to passing when it comes to movement patterns the off the ball movement the ai very very nice card i think it's the perfect cam uh player role in my personal opinion playmaker plus plus i just packed bruno fernandez played a couple of games with him he's nice even with 70 pace it's because of the player roles as i said man the player roles are very very op this year yeah fair enough as you can see you can always have him as roaming the thing is this depletes stamina um what i've seen so yeah for now completely up to you but a playmaker plus plus you have to have it as that let's move over to the wingers um i think it's just completely up to the player, player's pr preference i'd personally say um inside forward plus kind of acts as a striker so it leaves the players a little bit too like what's the word compact um like squished together does that make sense so for instance i will actually have him as the winger because i want him out wide um pr preferably you want a five star skiller here someone like a neymar that can skill that can cut in now if you have neymar inside four plus is perfect because he can cut in on his weak foot you no know, ball scoop etc winger for um martinelli is decent because he's fast so you can always just run on that flank cross into the box especially if you have a tall strike it's not bad but i always obviously um run inside 
either finesse on his um, strong foot or travail or whatever and it works does it make sense so yeah we've obviously got him there and then we got Foden as I said inside forward plus plus sometimes that right flank can get isolated um not isolated what's the word vulnerable because Foden will not be in the right wing position he'll be inside he'll be like kind of like a right center forward so for me it works because it's very it's like i i use my firepower for that right flank does that make sense because i'm always attacking down the right flank so having my con and Foden going up that right flank it's perfect so completely up to you if you want that but i'd probably say to keep it safe put um your winger as a winger role so yeah for now that's decent but if they have a plus plus it's always the better option trust me the very last one's gonna be the striker it is advanced forward i feel like this is the best one for my in my opinion especially in this formation because then they're not too like isolated uh by the box they don't track back too much they're just the perfect striker poach is not terrible to have in this formation um you know the objective is to score goals the thing is sometimes they hug that line a little bit too much so target forward is perfect for me and obviously in attack you can even have him as a balanced if you want like a shadow striker type of vibe but target forward especially with how good Adamola, uh, Adamola Lukman is in terms of pace and he's just very nimble very like low centered low gravity player very nice when it comes to a solid solid striker yeah um uh, it was at advanced forward sorry there we go but yeah, that is the team, ladies and gentlemen. I might jump into a game and showcase how good this team is. Let's do it. See, lovely stuff from Mycon right there. See, this is what I love doing. Just attacking that, down that right flank. Beautiful ball over the top as well to Foden. Probably should have passed, but we get the goal as well. See, this is the type of firepower you need. Sometimes you can be vulnerable, but that's the thing with football, man. Especially modern-day football, and that's why I like these tactics. Essentially, it provides, like, a plethora of outcomes you can do for your team, you know? Whether that even may be that um, it may, like, affect some certain things, but there's some level of risk. So, yeah, it's, it's always nice, you know? Everyone is just situated perfectly, especially the midfielders. They're not too compact. They're not too, like, is that onside? Oh, unlucky. By the way, if you boys know how to do this um, pace boost, it's so OP, bro. I don't know why he added that, but... Oh my days, is that a free kick? No? Okay. But yeah, the pace boost thing, you basically hold down your L1 and then you kind of just sprint and let go of L1 all in a split second and your guy's gone. That's how I see it. But yeah. See, good one is obviously doing the box to box roll which is always nice he's pushing up the field as you can see he's off the ball movement um and he's kind of fast bro you know not everything has to be with pace in this game um especially he has like 66 pace and he feels insane especially with the pace boost so don't always rely on pace like if you look at like the Bruyne for instance his ai is insane in this game so it doesn't even matter like how Oh, that is beautiful. Look there. Is that offside? That was still very, very nicely executed. This guy would have been gone. Could he be gone, though? He is gone anyway. We'll, we'll take it. I just even wanted to showcase, like, the game, but it's fine. I think I'll leave it there for now. <laughs> it's a very quick one. I know it is. But you, you kind of get the gist of it, though. It's a very nice formation in terms of... Even in defense for some reason, bro. So, I don't even have the best defensive, uh, defensive players. So, essentially, if I had someone like even bruno gomerish bro um over like mateus nunes yes sometimes he'll be slow but he'd be so defensively inclined that it's going to be perfect for my to go up the field for instance so make use of the plus plus ladies and gentlemen hopefully this video helped for anybody that's kind of confused on player roles and stuff don't just copy tactics and say yeah this formation would work for me get use of your player roles that's the main one but yeah Thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell am I saying? Ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you boys in the next one, man. Peace.